What's up guys, Fat Heisenberg here and I am going to bring you part 2 of my squad builder series and in this series I am going to be building a team uh, basic budget starter BPL team um, now a lot of people have done these budget squads and they're, they're cheap and everything else um, because I'm a little bit late with what's going on because of my recording stuff I'm going to build you a squad here that isn't super cheap, but it's effective, okay? So, I'm going to be building this squad around an absolute legend in his own mind, Danny Welbeck. Um, Danny Welbeck, 79 rated. These stats for me are mostly online. <coughs> 90 played, 75 goals. 45 assists, 4 yellow cards. Um, he plays very well. Uh, he probably gets back a little bit too much. Uh, in for Martial, he's probably uh, the better striker of the two. But simply because he doesn't track back as much as Welle. Mm -hmm. So, Welbeck is going to be the focal point of this team. To get us started, uh, in goal, I'm personally using Joe Hart, uh, but Mignolet is perfect in goal. He's a very good budget option as well if you can't afford Joe Hart. In the left-back department, you're looking at Jose Enrique. Take a quick second to look at his card if you haven't already looked at his card. 81 pace, 81 physical. 76 defending, 72 passing. What's not to love about that card? Works hard, puts in a shift. I have kicked this man out of my team three times now, and three times I've gone back to him. I cannot find anybody better. So, Enrique, uh, the left centre back, I have tried everybody apart from company in the Premier League. Rojo, in the three games that he's played, has been out of this world. Um, Unreal. He's the first defender I've played with who feels convincing. Uh, the right-hand centre-back, Mika Richards, does exactly what he says on the team. He's fast, he's strong, and his defending's quite good. Uh, for the right-back, we're going to go Damian. I touched on it in uh, my pack, uh, pack binge video the other day. But Damian is insane. Uh None of his stats scream superstar. Um, but he will put in a shift for you. And he's very, very good defensively. For the left-hand side of centre midfield, we're going to go with the cheap option of Carlos Sanchez. Again, this card is absolutely out of this world. And I'm going to pair him with... Nemanja Matic. Now, Matic is he's not cheap, um, and he's basically the same card as he was on FIFA 15. All he'll do is win your headers and score your screamers. He's a strange card in the way that he always tends to pop up with a goal from centre midfield when you need one. All ten of his goals have been important goals. Either equalisers or winners. He's insane at doing that. The same with Sanchez. Both of these midfielders will take the game by the scruff of the neck and absolutely turn it on its head. Neither of them have got particularly fantastic goal-scoring rates, but they're both absolutely rock-solid. Um, <coughs> an interesting aside, you could use Wanyama instead of Matic. Uh, Wanyama is probably... 25 times cheaper than uh, Matic. I believe Wanyama this year is only about a K, a K and a half. And he did a job for me. Uh, in this position, I was using Inform Payet. Um, now I've just switched it to his normal Payet. Simply because the price of his Inform had gone up to 10 times the amount of his, real card, his normal card. And is this card 10 times worse than his Inform card? No. So it just made sense use this card um, 
This player is a player I am very, very proud that I like. Again, this is another player who I've replaced, and I've tried Depay, and I've tried um, Pedro, and I've tried Sanchez, and I've tried... You name left wingers in Prem or left midfielders. I've tried them. I didn't like them as much as this guy. In he's insane. Everything about him, his pace, his shooting, his passing, his physical, his dribbling, he's all good. And even 50 defending for some left wingers is incredibly high, which means he's a hard worker and he's going to work his ass off to get back and help you out. Ignore those medium, medium work rates. This guy will chase back. Um, he's just signed for me again. He's played one game, one goal, one assist. Absolutely outstanding. Now, on the right, I've tried a lot of players as well. And, Co um, sorry, Costa. Shakiri is my favourite. Again, I've tried Oxlade Chamberlain. I've tried William. I've tried Robin in my Bundesliga team. I've tried DA, uh, Douglas Costa. Shakiri just has something about him that says when he gets the ball, he feels like he's going to do something. Again, <coughs> he's not amazing, he's not outstanding, and he's not that expensive. This is another card that's a cut above Oxlade Chamberlain, in my opinion, and he's better than Walcott as well, simply because he's a rounded player. Um, you can go for Oxlade Chamberlain, who's the slightly cheaper option uh, than Shakiri, but Shakiri feels the better player. Um, and then up front, as I said before, Welbeck, he's cheap enough. At the time I, when I bought this Welbeck, I got him on the web app and I paid four and a half k for him, pretty much. Now you're looking, he's going for about 12, but that is still cheap for the striker that you're getting. And to round off the team, I actually do have a substitute, and I always use a substitute in each team. I have one player who can come on just as and when needed, and that's Jordan Ayew. I paid 650 coins for him on the web app again, so this guy is now like 400 coins, if that. Uh, 12 beers, he's mostly off the bench, I think he started two, seven goals, one assist. This whole team put together isn't costing you that much. When you look at the, the breakdown of it, Enrique is costing you about 2k, Sanchez about a k, Anortovic about a k, um, Mika Richards is about 5k, Rojo is about 5k. So by the time you've bought those four, five players, you haven't even broke the 20,000 barrier then. And that allows you then to go and pick up, you know, your 5k for Welbeck, your 10k for Shakiri, your 5k for Darmian, and then your goalkeeper, who you can, there's multiple options in the goalkeeper position. I'd already decided that Joe Hart was going to be my man this year, and I'm sticking with it. I did have Miguel. There was nothing at all wrong with him. Um, I just wanted Joe Hart. Stuck in my head. No idea why. But it was always going to happen this year. Anyway, guys. I hope you've enjoyed part two of my squad builder series. If you've enjoyed this squad, please drop a like, and a comment, and a subscribe down in the comment section below. Uh, if you want me to try and build a team for you in any particular league... Or if you want a hybrid team, say, with Rojo at the back and Zlatan and um, Messi up front. Let me know. I'll try my best to make it, make the squad, I'll make the video and <laughs> bang on time here. Yeah. Um, I will try my hardest to get the video uploaded for you guys. Anyway, EA have basically just told me it is now time for me to wrap this video up. Thanks for watching guys, I've been Fat Heisenberg and I'll catch you next time. For cheap Microsoft and PSN vouchers please make your way over to g2a.com, link is in the description.